I find it funny. Good morning everybody, my name is Jacob back at you with another video and today I am so excited. I'm actually like blowing out a little bit because I am filming my first ever apartment. What the f that noise? Because today I am shooting my first ever apartment tour video. Now, if you guys have been following along with my journey over the last few weeks, you would know that I have moved to Melbourne. But anyways, we're going to talk about that as we get into the apartment because right now we're in the hallway. And we're not sure how many other people live on the floor, so it could be... Then we, yeah. Anyways, so, come on in. Welcome to our apartment. <laughs> Alright, so as we go in the front door, this is our apartment. So, brief overview. Welcome. This is where we live and reside. And by we, I mean me and my roommate Jonathan, who is behind the camera right now. Hey. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to walk you guys through the apartment, chuck in some bougie shots wherever I, they want to. A lot of you guys have been DMing me over the last few weeks, months, days, years. The last few weeks and days. <laughs> you can't do that to me. Ever since I have been uploading videos about living in Melbourne and moving to Melbourne and doing all that stuff, you've wanted to... Oh, you, you want to know where I live, but I don't blame you because I want to know where you live. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to walk through the apartments. As you come in the front door, I just here, we are currently on the 10th floor of our building. But yeah, so you come in here and this is Jonathan's bedroom. So my roommate's bedroom uh, with his spaceship wardrobes. They look cool, man, but there is no space whatsoever. No space. Have you cleaned your wardrobes? No. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I but hope yeah. no so ladies are watching I really like the design of the apartment. There is just a heap of little bits and pieces like this stuff that you wouldn't see in a generic apartment. And for what we pay, which is ridiculously cheap for what we get, the level of architecture... Is that what we're going to call it? Architecture? Like, the nicety of this apartment is... It's stunning. Like, it's at, we are so happy with what we've got. Like, even the little... Like having a glass wall here so this room still gets light, even being an internal room. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, stay there. Stay there. Just you. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> so, like, stuff like this, and Jono's you know, got a few of his vinyls and stuff up here, but coming through into the main bathroom, which is technically an ensuite. Like, and that's the beautiful thing about this apartment is it's a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. So Jonathan and I both get our own bathrooms, even though this is classified the main bathroom. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And then in here we have a, this is, we, we try, we cleaned up as much as we could. A laundry, so washer dryer. This is all included in the apartment, which is what blew us out because as I said, for what we're paying, we did very well. And then we've got the bathroom, toilet, all the amenities here with the... Um... So that is for the video that's coming. <laughs> that's um, for the video that's coming, don't stress. I spent a lot of money on buying good towels and they were f ruined. <laughs> Anyways, that's coming. All right, so going out of the main bathroom, you are greeted into like the main open plan living area, kitchen, dining room, living space, lounge room and everything like this when we first started looking at apartments and looking at um the kind of place that we wanted to live in i really wanted something that was instagrammable look i even told that to the agent and she was like yeah let's do it i wanted something that was open plan heaps of natural light a lot of the apartments that we looked at and even the one that we were this close to actually getting was not anywhere near as open and as nice as this the other thing is all of the furniture in this apartment came with the apartment which is phenomenal so like all of the actual furniture all of this stuff um not our baby but we'll get to that in a second but all of the furniture came with the apartment so we didn't have to worry about all of that yeah Neither did the board. The board, the board is, the board is ours. Here is a kitchen with melee appliances, which are absolutely stunning. Fridge, pantry, heaps, like a ridiculous amount of cupboard space. Like it's crazy. And even like the little things as I said before, like a dishwasher that is like hidden in the drawers. All right, so coming along uh, to our baby that's uh, decided to vomit a little bit since we cleaned this up about 20 minutes ago. We spent more money on the coffee machine than we did on bedding. 
<laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Literally, the day that we got to Melbourne, so we've been here for a little bit over two weeks now, and we've been intending on shooting this apartment to us since literally before the day before we even moved into the apartment so we went down to buy like all of the stuff that we needed to live and we walked in and bought this as the first thing that we bought and it's been used more than it should have been we no. didn't have a vacuum we didn't have a mop but we had a fucking coffee machine yeah we did <laughs> a dining area that's like really open plan we've been, it's a little things about being an adult like having your own fruit bowl you better finish that later that just makes it beautiful you better finish that later. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so moving on from like the living area into the lounge room. We've got some really comfy couches. Okay, come, come and sit next to me. Come and sit next to me. I'm coming. I didn't even know this was going to work, but yesterday, Jonathan and I sat down to watch a movie and we were like, okay, we'll turn off the TV. But the other way, we told to turn it on. Wow. We didn't even set that up. We just told Google to do it and Google did it, but we haven't got no like any smart plugs. I, look, I don't know how all this stuff works. I like to say that I'm quite techie, but I don't understand how that works. And anyways, we did it and I kind of like, hey, we'll turn on the TV. Wow. What? So coming right along on the coffee table, we've got like a couple of books that these are, as a matter of fact, the only three books that I've ever Red. I went to school with him, so I know. And I actually took that photo, so that's my claim to fame. <laughs> <laughs> um, here we have our little um, diffuser. Oh. Put cologne in, not essential oils, because it makes the apartment smell good. That was a really funny story to that one, but we will leave that out. It's a story for another <laughs> day. <Yeah. laughs> this is one of my prized possessions that um, I got from a tip shop for like, I don't even know how it works. It doesn't even work. For like five bucks. Anyways, it looks cool just sitting here. So that's the statement piece. We've got my kind of workstation. We're still working on getting Jonathan a desk, which is gonna go under the whiteboard, the, the very important whiteboard that you guys saw before. Um, this is a photo that came with the apartment. Don't like it, it's very hotel-esque, but as I said, we've been here for two weeks and this is kind of a starter video for this apartment because we're here for six months, we've been here for two weeks and there's a lot that we still want to do to the apartment. I want to show you guys what it is now and then I think it'd be really cool in like three, four, five, six months time to shoot another apartment tour and show you guys the progression of this place. My desk, I've got my laptop set up on an Ikea. It's actually like a cookbook stand and it's really, the angle of it's really high so I've got it perched up on my hard drives, headphones, keyboards and stuff. I've got my autograph from Sayed Bukaki. How do you, I don't even know how you say his last Sayed. name. Anyways, that's that's one of my most prized possessions. Got all like my camera ba batteries charging and stuff. This lamp that came with the apartment. My salt lamp, which I bought. I became a salt lamp person when I moved out of home. It, Fight me. It's literal salt. Let's move out onto the deck. Brace your ear holes because it gets loud. No, welcome um, to Melbourne. Yeah, so this is the view from our apartment, which is absolutely stunning. And for the price that we're paying is just phenomenal and to have a view like this to wake up to every morning is just stunning the sun sets right in the middle of those two buildings and yeah it's beautiful and this is so this is our deck it's quite small we've got jonathan currently drying some clothes here because we're adults and we do our own washing all of these like windows are really reflective in one kind of one way so they're kind of like full length mirrors, which we love. We want to turn it into a bit of a beer garden, which I think would be really cool eventually. That's money that we don't currently have because... I mean, we have it. It's just... We don't want to spend it yet. I'll do an update. I might even make like a video of the creation of our beer garden. As you come out of the balcony, out of the lounge room, we enter my bedroom, which I am in awe of. I still don't believe that I kind of live here. As you can tell, the man pays more rent. <laughs> I've got a full window wall here and the sun sets and um, I get full natural light pretty much all day here. It is absolutely beautiful. Got my statement piece guitar in the corner of my room. Play something for us. There we go. I really decided to make my bed very well for you guys as you guys can see. I've tried. I've tried many <laughs> times. I've made this bed. I have tried. Backflip? No, I'm not going to do it. But um... I yeah. literally thought you were about to do it. Should I try? No. Should I try for the No. Video? Do you see that, that window there? Not, not a good move. Yeah, so this is... Uh, I just want the thumbnail. <laughs> um, my cupboards, I'm going to put B-roll shots of my cupboards in here later when I actually clean them because as you guys would know if you've been around on my channel for 
a while. <laughs> I love this guy. He went and showed my cupboards, yeah. <laughs> but he won't show his cupboards. <laughs> he no, went okay, and look, embarrassed here me. Here we go. Here um, we go. Hey, look, wifey. Yeah. Side... Wifey, if you're there, I'm not that messy. It's just that we're still adjusting to life. <laughs> this side is a lot cleaner than that side at the moment. But yeah, I've even got the, I went out and bought these IKEA things and I roll folded all of my clothes so they fit. So there you go. That's That was a fuck me. That was an unplanned stint. So we've got my, one of my lights that I shoot videos with, obviously my tripod sitting here. Coming right on through this door uh, is my ensuite, which is phenomenal. Like I have never had an ensuite before. So having my own bathroom is very time consuming because we're clean freaks that clean bathrooms pretty much more than we use them. Yeah, I, I agree with that. You agree with that? But all of my stuff here, and probably one of my most prized possessions and proudest achievements in the last two weeks is this. This is my $30 IKEA bathroom shelf. And you can't tell me that that doesn't look good. I even went out and bought fake plants for this thing. And a jar to put my stuff, like, look, okay. Being an adult and living, like, independently for the last two weeks with my um, good friend behind the camera. Good friend. <laughs> Um, it's changed me. It's really changed me. So this is our apartment. For our first apartment, we are still dumbfounded that this is what we got. Like when we first started looking, we had very high expectations, but to actually be able to sit down now of a night, you know, tell Google to turn on the bloody t t smart TV that we didn't even like actually pay for. We're extremely lucky and we are so grateful. And yeah, let's, let's take a seat. I mean, the process wasn't Easy. It's been easier than some other people. Yeah, that so we've we got a lot of other friends that have currently moved to Melbourne as well and taken the opportunity of the global pandemic to kind of change up their lives. So as you guys would know, if you watch my I Have News video, card will be up here or wherever it is. Um, I have taken uh, the global pandemic and the lockdown and quarantine and isolation as an opportunity to take a massive step uh, with my YouTube career and my acting career and kind of everything and use this lockdown as a time to get set up in an apartment like this whilst there's not much going on. And we are so extremely grateful and so excited for what is still to come, still to come, what is to come. Like this is the start of everything that is coming. That's about it. So this is our apartment, my first apartment tour. Super excited and just those words coming out of my mouth still don't quite add up in my brain because I have dreamt of living in somewhere like this my entire life. I've watched so many apartment tour videos on YouTube. Jonathan will even attest to the fact that I'm sitting here watching house tours and stuff this morning. It's like one of my biggest, one of my most favorite things to watch and favorite genre of YouTube video. It's just ridiculous. So the fact that we can sit here now and make my own like apartment tour is phenomenal and just mind-boggling so yeah if you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to leave it a big thumbs up and smash the subscribe button if you want to join the family and yeah all right if you guys want to watch another video click one of these cards down here and if not i'll see you guys in the next video peace out bye guys should say bye bye um last but not least i thought you guys might have some time to talk about the lord jesus christ our savior <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. bye. <laughs>